Okay. I hope the monarchy gets abolished soon. Dayun, I don't know what sort of bee you've got in your bonnet. There is absolutely zero, zero chance of the monarchy ever being abolished. Ever. In Scotland, we've had the monarchy for 2,347 years. It actually predates Scotland. The modern monarchy came in in the 800s with Kenneth MacAlpin, crowned at Donad Fort in Argyll, one of MacLeod's uh, haunts. There we are, fantastic. You still go up and see where they used to crown the old Scottish kings. But it predates that. If you go back to Re, the Celtic king, the ancestors of Re, at least 2,347 years. So, Dahun, do you think that some dafty, uh, you know, who knows nothing about the monarchy and gets it wrong every time, is going to end up changing that? No, 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 no. What we need to do is educate people in the benefits of the monarchy because they are huge and many, many fold. So, I mean, some idiot saying the monarchy should be abolished just Sheer madness, thoughtlessness, ignorance, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding, lack of ability. Well, maybe not lack of ability. They just need to learn. They've had their head stuffed with nonsense. Beachy Beachy, they sent me 11 beautiful TikToks. Now they're Gary Buckets, parasites. And you see, there's a huge lie. Parasites. The monarchy bring in... I think just pre-COVID, the last figure was over two billion pounds. Two and a half billion pounds. Two and a half billion pounds. One family. Yeah, brought in direct to the British Exchequer. Okay. Tourism, right? Now, they're all family aren't responsible for this whole figure. But tourism brings in 210 billion pounds. The Queen herself is virtually self-financing with the proceeds of uh, excellent accounting from the Duchy of Lancaster, of which a politician is the Chancellor. The heir to the throne is virtually self-financing by the income from the Duchy of Cornwall. Excellent accounting again, so no expense there. The security and the whole cost of monarchy, everything taken into account, would never exceed 169 million, right? So you do the mathematics, zero parasites, zero costing us. In fact, I think if you actually look at the cost to the taxpayer, it's the same as a bag of crisps, all right? So there's no parasites. 210 billion, that's so incorrect. No, Dayun, that's absolutely 100% correct. Check it up. What British tourism brings in. Monarchy, queen, parasites. No, Sam, the man, 100% wrong. So you've had your head stuffed with nonsense, Sam. And I'm so glad that you're on here because there's a spark of light there's a spark of light that you might get yourself yet an education on monarchy. All right, so the monarchy, excellent thing, first class. King McClure, thank you, Mbongo. They're exempt from freedom of info acts. Well, that's all right, Dahun. You know, I mean, they are the monarchy. The main function of the monarchy, don't get obsessed with personalities, her Majesty has obviously been an outstanding public servant for uh, 95 years, really. Although she's only been on the throne 70 years. All her life, she has been an outstanding addition to the monarchy. In fact, old George V used to say about Edward VIII, David, his son, who abdicated in 1936, I hope to God nothing comes between Lilibet and the throne. And Lilibet has been on the throne for 70 years and done an outstanding job. That's not okay. They're a public institution. They should be free to scrutiny. No, Dayun. 
Yes? Parts of the monarchy are a public institution, right? And the main function, as I was going to tell you when you so rudely interrupted me, um, is as the curator and custodian of the crown. And the crown in Great Britain and Northern Ireland is uh, the symbol of authority. Used to be the symbol of authority in Ireland as well. So it's the symbol of authority. It's the same as the stars and stripes in America. So when you're dissing the monarchy, you're dissing yourself and your fellow country people. You know, so people need to just waken up and realize what's going on there. What civil list you are a self serving monarchist? No, Sam, we're all self-serving monarchists, every single one of us, right? There is no such thing as an anti-monarchist in reality. These are just idiots, all right? So always remember that. She hasn't done anything special. She's had her boots uh, kicked by the public all life. Uh, Dahoon, you are coming across now as a half-wit. You know, uh, I mean, everything she does is special. And she's still working. She still deals with the red boxes. You know, at 96, Republic now, never, ever, ever, ever. Every Republic would love to be a monarchy, right? There's nothing America would love more than to have their own king. Yep, absolutely. Watching you, uh, says Big Rush, good Big Rush, so glad to hear but we'll have to let you go because you've obviously got a So what we'll do, hang on a wee second. Big rush, a lifetime ban because he's got a big rush on right now. There he goes. Bye, big rush. Hope you get your problem sorted. There he goes. Right. Do you need to insult everyone who's anti monarchist Yes, Sam the man. Yes, anti monarchists should actually, I mean, we're lucky we live in a democracy. But they should actually be done for treason. You know what I mean? Although I think the bulk of them, 99.9% .9 of them, are just ignorant. They don't have the knowledge. Uh, so there you are. So yes, I mean, it's not, uh, they're insulting themselves. Uh, it's not very mature to insult someone with a difference of opinion. Dagun, this is not a difference of opinion. This is a lack of understanding of facts. Right? So for whatever reason, ignorance, low IQ, lack of knowledge and understanding, whatever it is, right, they can't change the facts in the same way you can't change the word of God. I understand the facts where you don't, Dachun. Otherwise, you have no case for dissing the monarchy. So you clearly don't understand the facts. I've just given you the facts. Hello from Slovakia. Mr. Gota, Mr. Goata, we love to have you with us from Slovakia, and dinky-doo, I say to you. So good that you could come and join us. That's what it's all about. The Queen should step in and stop Boris changing the ministerial code. It cannot be seen that one man can change the rules that are used for self-gain. Well, <clears throat> I think... The changing the ministerial code, we need to check who's responsible for the ministerial code. The Queen can't step in and do anything political, but she can advise and warn. And it might be an idea for her to advise and warn Boris. You know see? So there we have it. I know you were in broadcasting, Scotty. What were you involved in the most? Uh, television and radio and newspapers as well, but mainly television and radio. Uh, are many reasons to talk. There are many reasons to talk badly about the monarchy. There's never a reason to talk badly about the monarchy, because the monarchy have one main function: curators and custodians of the crown. You're insulting the monarchy. You're insulting the crown. Queen Elizabeth could never need criticised because 